Hi there. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Anjali and that is my dog Sadie. And together we are roaming the UK in our 1992 camper van, Jezebel. Good morning and welcome back to the channel everyone. Uh, we made it through the night. Uh, if you watched last week's episode, you know that I had parked up in the Peak District. A very, very lovely park up, very quiet. Um, highly recommended. But yeah, we made it through the night and I've woken up to a very frosty morning. Uh, it was quite cold last night, um, but not horrible. Plenty of blankets and my hoodie. Um, but yeah, woken up and everything's a bit frosty. The van is very icy. Where my phone also completely discharged the battery, um, I think because of the cold. Next time I need to put it in a sock. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just go for a quick morning stroll and uh, yeah, show you where we're parked up. It's quite beautiful. So yeah, you can see the frost coming up over the, the hills of the Peak District there and this is uh, right near where we put camp so it's a lovely, lovely view to sort of wake up to and do a quick sort of morning uh, stroll and say hello to the sunshine which is just there so it is coming, um, just got to wait for it to hit the vans. Uh, got to charge up my phone, I've had some breakfast so I'm going to make a cup of coffee and uh, start packing away because we're going to Beely today, the village of Beely, and to a uh, Hobhurst house, uh, so a burial mound uh, in Beely, which isn't too far away. It's about 10-15 minutes drive from here um, and we're going up a little bit further than we are, so it's sort of that direction somewhere. But um, yeah, it's going to be very nice and uh, hopefully very interesting. Okay, so the chores are done and uh, we are just, I'm just packing everything, securing everything down, um, put the roof down uh, so we can head off to our next uh, place. Um, just had a nice chat with some of the people that are parked up. Uh, they've been in the peaks for a week, they come from Devon. So they, uh, they come to uh, do some cycling all week and today, the nicest day, they've, uh, they're going home. <laughs> so they're very sad but they enjoy this park up. Um, as did I. I did wake up with uh, ice on the front of the car because I forgot to put the uh, the thing on to stop the ice from forming on it. Um, I didn't realise that until 2 o'clock in the morning. I was like, oh, dang. But I wasn't going to get out of bed at 2 o'clock in the morning and put it on. Too late by then. Um, but, yeah, so I've just been trying to scrape all the ice off the front of the van so that I can get moving. Um, yeah, so chores done. Van packed up. Off we go to Beely. Huzzah! We have made it to Beely Village. It looks like a lovely, quiet little village. Uh, lots of sandstone homes and things. So, uh, yeah, one thing is, it's very, very misty. Like, really misty. <laughs> uh, coming down from the hill I was parked up on uh, down here, it's, uh, yeah, it was, it was a little bit scary uh, trying to go down really steep hills when you can't see that far in front of you. Uh, but I made it! Hooray! Um, I parked up uh, just on the road, just like uh, there's another van kind of in front of me, so uh, it's a good enough place to park vans. Um, it's quite a small village, so you know, do make sure that you're parking considerately when you come here. But it looks lovely, and we start off our walk at the Devonshire Arms, which is just around the corner from where I parked. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put my jacket on probably because although it's not actually that cold, it is. It is a bit misty and, and gross. Maybe it'll get, it'll probably get better as we're walking, but at the moment, 
it's a bit rubbish and uh yeah uh see you when we get outside and we're ready to go it's incredibly misty there's not really a lot to see in any direction uh, i'm just at the moment just following the os map because i can't see any of the styes that are coming up or anything so i'm just following the os map also i just walked up a massive hill we just want i'm out of breath the fact that it's misty the air is very wet which is not helping my asthma at all uh, but we're on a bit of flat now and uh yeah just gotta keep following the os map to find the next uh, style to walk through so this is all cattle fields you know how i feel about cattle fields uh but i don't know if there's any cattle in them i can't see that far so we'll just keep walking sadie is on the lead and we're just gonna keep walking and uh until we find somewhere where maybe hopefully we can have a bit of a view Okay, we've made it out of the cattle fields and we're now in a lovely little uh, woodland. But it is, it's so muddy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I did not wear the right shoes for this. I mean, I've got hiking boots on, but uh, yeah, should have worn my thicker ones. So I'm gonna let Sadie off lead for a little bit while we're in the wood woodlands. Um, so she's happy because it's, it's literally all just muddy puddles. But uh, yeah, it's pretty gross. made it up higher and uh it's sunny up here it's still misty down there but it's sunny up here i bet that would be a lovely view if you could see anything but i can't <laughs> so uh yeah sadie is absolutely caked in mud uh she's enjoyed every second of this walk so far i think uh, much better than yesterday where there was no mud and puddles <laughs> but yeah i bet we'd have a lovely view across the valley there if we could see anything <laughs> oh well Well, now that we're at the top of this hill, it's uh, lovely and sunny. It's still very, very misty where we came from. Uh, but yeah, up here above all of that, glorious sunshine. I've had to take my coat off and uh, yeah, 
we're coming up in a minute towards the uh, path towards Hophurst House. Uh, so this is just a nice sort of slight incline up uh, over and above all the mist and it's, it's been quite a nice walk. Lots of friendly people out on a Saturday. Uh, lots of people taking photos of the hills above the mist. Uh, yeah. It's actually quite a nice day for this now. I was wondering when we were walking through the muddy fields, have I made an error? Is this not going to be uh, a good walk? But actually, it's gorgeous now. So behind me here is Hobhurst's house. Uh, it is a burial mound uh, that is, rather than being uh, sort of round, is rectangular. So it's a little bit of an odd one. Uh, it's called Hobhurst's house because Hobhurst is a local uh, goblin, uh, sort of local folklore, a goblin called Hobhurst, who uh, people used to bring presents to this burial mound for him in the hopes of getting good luck, um, a good milking, that the crops grow well, things like that. Um, it was a little folklore. People would leave um, bits of food, they would leave clothing, jewellery, anything to appease uh, Hobhurst the goblin. If uh, you didn't, it was believed that he would bring bad luck to you, so he would make your milk go sour, you would find weevils in your flour, and things like that. Um, so the locals would bring gifts up to him here. This barrow was excavated by Thomas Bateman, uh, who locally was known as the Barrow King, so he was a um, he was really interested in archaeology and with history, and he excavated this and found in there uh, a burnt a small burnt skeleton and some bits of jewelry and and uh, lead ore um when he did this this area here is is looked after by the national trust um and there's sort of good signposts to get to this area um, i'm here on my own today there's no one else around um but uh, I, there is a little sty so i'm going to go climb over and uh, have a little walk around it So that's Hobbs, her, Hob Hurst's house. Um, yeah, an interesting little burial mound um, due to its shape. And uh, it's nice that you can go and have a little walk around it all. It's got like a, a dip in the middle and I think that's where people used to leave like gifts and things. Um, like it's sort of the entrance to his house. Uh, it's quite a cute little folklore. I quite like that. Uh, that there's a goblin that will either help you or hinder you. Uh, yeah, it's funny. So we stopped for a bit of lunch in the sunshine. Uh, it's very nice. I've had to take off another layer, uh, which is uh, 
nice for February. Uh, and now we are walking through the woodlands. So we're on the home stretch now. Uh, it's a nice bit of uh, paved footpath. So that's quite nice. Uh, just been past some sheep in the fields. Um, there's like a little farmhouse coming up. Yeah, we're just sort of gonna follow the road down and round. And then Beasley should sort of be just down the hill we're about to walk down. And then we'll be back at the van. So yeah, not too bad. About Two thirds of the way up through, I should think. Something like that. I need to check how much we've done, but I think I'm estimating that's how much we've done. I am absolutely caked in mud trying to pull Sadie through a style that was sort of just about big enough for one of my legs to get through and of course she couldn't get through at all so I'm picking her up and then I slipped backwards in the mud so I got a muddy Sadie land on my front and all of the back of my legs are muddy and my bum is very wet and cold uh, yeah uh, absolutely covered in mud just all of me <laughs> so I'm glad I bought a spare pair of clothes in the van I'm gonna get changed as soon as I uh, finally manage to get back there oh, we're back at the van covered in mud well I, I've changed I've managed to get my trousers off and put some leggings on still caked in mud um, yeah that bit was not fun and then I found out like halfway down the road, my bag had been open, everything had fallen out. So I had to turn back round and pick up my coat and pick up my fleece, pick up Sadie's water bottle. And it's like, I don't know if I dropped anything else in the field because I couldn't hear anything drop. Um, who knows? I'll probably get home and be like, oh, all of the things that I love are gone. <laughs> uh, but yeah, apart from that, this was a very nice walk. Um, I highly recommend not doing it after a week of rain uh, so if you can do it uh, later on in the year uh, you know late spring early summer then it's a beautiful walk I'm assured and I I still highly recommend it it was a lovely walk lots of you know ups and downs nothing too steep nice views bit of history um, so yeah it's definitely a really lovely walk but so muddy so muddy like everywhere was just mud and yeah falling and being dragged down the hill by Sadie that was uh not fun but luckily it was only only a kilometer away from uh, the van so I haven't had to walk with a wet soggy bum for very long but yeah wasn't 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 the best way to end the <laughs> the hike at least it didn't happen at the beginning uh but yes Hope you enjoyed this video. As you know, I'm testing out my Pocket 2 at the moment, so I haven't got all of the settings exactly right. I'm still playing with it as I go, so uh, apologies if, like, some of the colours are off. Like, I think the colours are off at this at the moment. I'm just looking at the screen and it looks very bright. Um, but I am still playing with it, working out uh, the settings for it. Um, I'll try and do some fixing posts um, in the editing section, uh, if I can work out how. Um, but yes, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the hike. Um, and uh, yeah, as always, please do like and comment and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, um, which might be actually uh, some work on Jezebel. So I'm taking my van to my parents uh, next Thursday, so in a couple of days time, uh, to... Uh, because my road is being closed for two weeks so I can't park Jezebel anywhere near my house so I'm driving her to my parents and then while I'm with my parents we're going to do some work on Jez so hopefully get a new bed layout um, me and my mum are going to work on doing some thermal curtains um, so that's going to be its own video as well and um, 
because yeah last night i realized i really do need thermal clothes <laughs> i need to keep the heat in because uh, it got really cold it, there was ice on the inside of my uh, windscreen so that's how cold it was um but yes we're going to do some different things with the van and do some fixing up and things so the next couple of videos are probably going to be uh, upgrades to jezebel so if you're interested in those please do come along and uh enjoy those videos and then there'll be another episode episode two of mappy trails as well uh coming up uh yeah so i won't be doing any hikes for a couple of weeks because jezebel will, will be off the road i'll have to get started on uh fixing all of her rusty bits and that so that i can get her painted that will be another couple of videos Woo! but yes as always thank you very much for coming along i really appreciate you coming and watching these videos and i hope you've enjoyed yourself and I look forward to seeing you on the trail. Bye for now. Bye.